Oh yeah, it's going. Hey, what's going on? Day two. Um, yeah, it's now 3.30 in the afternoon and my morning completely blew up. So I'm not gonna make my deadline. Um, but uh, I'll have to work through that. It's gonna be pretty great. So now I got all of the, the part of the, uh, I had all these little squares cut that are a quarter of an inch by two and a quarter by two and a quarter here. And um, I've got for the pieces that are vertical, they get little pins in them. So I have to drill 64 times two, I guess that's 128. I don't know, I might have to get my boots off and count on my toes and fingers. But that hole's gotta be centered. And it's a 64th over a quarter of an inch because I have quarter inch dowel rods for the little pins to keep track of your opponents. Your very inebriated uh, opponent, I might add. Um, yeah, I mean, a five shot boat, what are you, out of your mind? I mean, I guess you could do light beer, Michelob Ultra, that'd be good. I can't imagine doing any hard liquor, man. Or you could do teams, maybe you could do teams. Teams? Teams? I don't know. Social distancing, I'm not sure. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna get ready to drill up a hole here. We're, we got 128 holes to drill. So uh, here we go. What are you kidding me? I think I'm gonna use this thing on that. I had you go in there. I got 128 holes to drill. So, <laughs> anyway, what we've done, let me set this down. I gotta get all this in here. Um, and I still might be short on maple. But anyway, so, yeah, you wouldn't think, I'm not, I'm not that, I'm loony, but I'm not quite that loony. Uh, first of all, it's a doubtful you get that hole through very square and it'll probably elongate. Um, and so I want these holes, I mean, I want those pins to stay in. I mean, the whole point of the game is keeping track. But does, if you're hammered, does it really matter? If you can keep track of it or not? I don't know. I don't know, more on that later. So anyway, these are all the same size. I made sure of it. They actually came out a lot better than I thought they would. That little planer though was cutting along. It's on its last leg. I just don't want to spend the money. So anyway, let's get over to the, guess what? Drill press. So I'll show you what we've got going on here. So anyway, I found the center of that by just doing the diagonals. So now, once you find that, then you orient your little piece. And then I've got some little, uh, uh, little battens here with some double stick tape. And it works okay, I think. Oh, you know what? I think, uh, I think you guys, I actually have, look at this, it's here. It's not sitting at home on my desk. Um, so anyway. Hey, I hope you guys are doing good. How are you doing today? It's Friday. We made it. We freaking made it. Outstanding. So let's see. We're going to get you a good spot here by the old drill press. And we'll give you a little, old, little of the old drill press there. How's that looking? That's looking pretty good. So yeah, it's really, really simple. Uh, you make yourself a little template. And I do have to orient these with the grain going this way. And then you just uh, very carefully. And there you go. I like to do that 126, 126 more times. Yikes. So it's also important to get the uh, crumblies out of there. So 
to get a perfect hole every time. I think I need another bucket. Anyway, this is still gonna take a while, even with the drill press. So I need to get my work on. Maybe a drink of iced tea. And then I have to make that call telling Paige, hi Paige, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you know, I'm going to have to fall on my sword. And hopefully we can salvage something. I mean, I'm going to work tomorrow, but there's a lot of stuff that's got to take place with this. And I just don't think it's going to be done all the way. So anyway, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll make that right. Um, what was I going to get? I don't remember. <laughs> I guess I need to turn the camera off and get to work then. Bye for now. Ah! So, well, at least we have more in this pile than we have in this pile. And we're only, we're only at about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, so. We're finishing it up, finishing it up. But hey, whoops, oh no, the phone. Oh, the phone, is it gonna stay? Yeah, it'll stay. So let me show you in a situation like this, where you have a fixture, I'll show you how to drill the hole the right way. Okay, so you put it in there, you hold her down. Okay, we got our hole there, right? So. That's not, that's not too bad. Whoops, I threw it over the bin. I need that. Ah. Um, so, now, your first inclination would be to just grab another piece and uh, stick it on there and go to town. But that's where you'd be wrong. So I'm gonna remove this. And this is what's gonna mess you up. Just that little bit of sawdust is enough to put that whole thing in there, cattywampus. You know? So, it's probably gonna catch the piece of wood and spin it around, but it's also gonna throw, if this stuff gets thrown up against there, see how, so, you either have to go, or you take this, where is it? Where is it? There it is. When you're doing something like that, you want to look at your margins all the way around. And that's all I have to say about that. Kind of get to the point where you can get it in there and you feel that it's wrong or right. A lot of that sawdust catches in the hole in this board. I forgot to mention yesterday, 1989 yesterday, Stevie Ray Vaughan went down in a helicopter crash. It was one of the saddest days of my life. Um, he played a Stratocaster. So hopefully people can now make that connection. Why caster? Of course I have a Telecaster, a Stratocaster and Lots of other casters, but anyway, sad, sad day.
Stevie. We live on through your music. And continue to inspire. And re-inspire. Last one. There you have it! 128 of these little 2x2s two with a hole in the center. So, now I think that's it. So now if we look at them, let me get you guys fixed up here. I don't know. How's the ceiling look? Nice LEDs up there. Um, so what we got going on here is we have a nice hole. A um, little jagged. So what we'll do is uh, we'll run through them all again with this very high-tech sanding block and just knock that off and knock that off. And then when we go to glue them and pin them down, with the uh, pin nailer, then uh, it'll be good. Just take that little bit of fuzz away. I'm probably gonna hit these corners too, just cause people are gonna be touching this. Let's see all that is is a piece of three quarter plywood with a belt sander belt wrapped around it. One of the best tools you could ever have on your workbench. Or in your tool pocket. I'm telling you, anyway. I gotta make a call. And there's like about 10 people in this world that I don't wanna disappoint, and she's in that category. So, just don't have enough time. But I'll have something to show tomorrow. But anyway, wish me luck. Back in the flash. I didn't like having to do that. She was very gracious and she was like, oh, no big deal. But you know what? I take my projects really seriously. And I just wanted to hit my deadline. Usually I can gauge things pretty well, but sometimes you miss, you know? And uh, this was one of those times and it bums me out. But uh, she was she was cool about it. She's like, oh, whenever you get it done, it's it's fine. You know, I know you'll get it done. But doggone it, their anniversary is tomorrow. It is going to be deadly, though. I mean, you know, it's going to be. Look at that. So here's what I got going. So I'm taking. I'm taking. Now that I've got, so my blocks ended up like this. I'm sorry, I didn't have, what was it that I used? It was like, it was 17 64s, which is 64 over a quarter of an inch. And the pins are a quarter of an inch. So it, some of them come out really good and some of them come out gnarly. I don't have a brad point bit that size. I know, I know, I, there's one tool I don't have. Um, can't have everything. So this is 120, so we're doing that. And then we're giving it the extra. We're putting it on the dowel to take the little, the little scrumblies off of it. And actually this is helping the dowels. Uh, this is actually helping the dowels too. It's training the dowels to the actual size. So. So each piece is getting a little bit of love. Um, you know, uh, that's just always, you know, been my philosophy. That's what a good, a good carpenter or a good cabinet maker does, or I mean, anybody that does it, does a job, do it right. Just do it right, you know? 
especially when people are going to be touching it. Um, I'm assuming that they're, well, they'll obviously be drinking around it. But, but uh, I mean, why would you make something that is crummy? I can't, I can't understand that. So, um, that's definitely a load off my mind, but you know, you young contractors, oh, I'm going to sit down. Yeah. It's Friday. I'm sitting down. And people think I need to get a new chair. What do you guys think? I don't know. I don't know. It's been with me a long time. So. We're gonna, we're gonna keep it around for a little bit longer. But uh, getting back to, you know, you're thinking about being in business or you are in business and don't make excuses if you screw up. I mean, I screwed up. I didn't give this, I didn't uh, estimate in my head. I had an idea of how long I thought it was going to take, and then I was wrong, you know? I was bloody wrong, straight up. So, rather than make excuses, you just have to, you have to own it, you know? So, I think in the end, people respect you a lot more for that. This is gonna take a while. Friday. I'm so ready for fall. All we've had is humidity for three weeks. We did have one nice week tired of that, but Yes, yeah, sir. It's going to take a little while. Not bad, not bad. Really? I mean, I'm like, I am like just blown away by all the nice comments that people leave me. It makes my day, you know? I mean, we're kind of all in this together. It's amazing. Um, you know, we need to keep encouraging each other and, and giving each other positive support. It's really nice. Certainly better than watching TV. I mean, really, it's better than TV. It's almost like we all have our own TV channels and we're controlling our own programming. But I also think, I also think we're accomplishing something. Because I'm sure, like out of the 24 people that are on my channel, I'm sure we don't agree on some things. But we are in agreement that we're going to be positive and we're going to support each other. And so there you go. I mean, If we all thought the same, that would be boring. So, anywho, like I said, it's going to take a while. So, let me uh, get through these guys, and um, I'm going to go to the store pretty soon.
Um, Captain Caveman. My buddy's coming all the way from Peoria to pick it up tomorrow. Captain Caveman is going home tomorrow. Uh, my buddy Rick, the retirement Viking axe. He brought it back, not because anything was wrong with it, but I said, hey, let me wrap that in paracord if you plan on really using this. Because when they go to Wyoming, they, they pitch camp for 10 days or so and go hunt elk. Um, and I said, oh, I don't know. And then he brought it back and he's like, yeah, I better have, better have some paracord. So that's gonna get some camouflage paracord. Um, what else, man? I don't know. <laughs> I know there's a lot of little blocks in here. So, back in, in a while, maybe even in the morning, Talk to you later. This kind of effort makes a difference to a project. Attention to detail. It means you care. You care about your job, you care about your customers, you care about your product. In this case, I care about my friends. They're a unique bunch. They're friends and they're customers. But, I mean, yeah, I could leave these jagged, but, and I'm sure as you get a uh, few shots into it, these holes are gonna be the last thing you're worried about looking at probably going to be just lucky to find the doggone hole and put the pin in it but it means something to me now I've got uh, I did a few experiments I tried using my chisel I tried using this countersink I tried using the same drill bit with this just to kind of ream it out and all the the right size drill bit the whatever 64 I said did was uh, make the hole bigger so we immediately shut that down. So I'm using a quarter of an inch, which is a step down from this hole, and it's cleaning up the hole pretty nicely um, after the sanding of the edges. I mean, for a, a board game involving drinking, I'm not going to, uh, a whatever 64th, what is it? It's uh, 17 64ths. Um, I'd have to drive across the river and get the only place that sells that around here is uh, Woodcraft, Woodworking Supply. And uh, I mean, if this was a nice piece of furniture or something, you bet your bottom dollar. I think it's coming out fine. And I don't think that a Brad point bit, which has a point on it, and it has, instead of it being like this, which this was having, a, obviously had a tendency to tear at the maple. Um, I don't think it would have eliminated this step. Probably lessened it, but you know what? It's a Friday afternoon. 
and I'm having a good time sanding these blocks. You know? Hope I can get through them before it's time to go home. It doesn't look like I will. <laughs> That's a lot of bullets. But we'll see. It's quarter to five. Or 20 till, I'm sorry. McPixel have to decreed. It is Chris legit. So I'm glad that was solved. There we go. Hopefully that's okay. I don't know. What are you guys up to this weekend? Leave in the comments. I hope you're planning on having an excellent weekend. And even if you're not, I hope you have an excellent weekend. Man, I still hate not hitting my deadlines. I hate it. Hate it. Maybe hate is too strong of a word. I dislike. Very much dislike. An hour and a half later, they look like a bunch of oversized Cheez-Its to me, but yeah, it's 128 sanded and deburred as much as I can do. I wasn't, I'm not, now after going through them, I'm not crazy about the way the high speed uh, drill bit went through, but uh Brad Point wasn't in the cards. If this was a piece of furniture, you betcha. Um, but I think for a drinking game, I think this is totally sufficient. Um, but anyway, this is how they lay out. Cheez-Its. I think I'm gonna do like 
maybe a 3 16 inch space. This is the board that you keep track of the, whoops, all the grains gotta go the right way. So there we go. Let's see if we can get some more in here to make it look, make it look like something. It's hard to hold the camera and orient them. Oops. And I probably will use the four corners of this sheet of plywood to square everything up. Pick the best side. So there's your upper, keep track of your other man, keep track of your opponents. Uh, Stuff. And then, uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint these black or red. I guess red, maybe. Um, so, yeah, I have a little old thing here. Hold the phone, y'all. Now we need to see. Yeah. So, I'm going to just, uh, Cut us off a little. I haven't really come up with the length yet. So, get your little pin. Eh, I think red, maybe red. And uh, so, and they fit in there nice and snug. And once that's glued and pinned, uh, should be just fine. Um, yeah, not too bad. I sent her a little video. I had to apologize again. It just doesn't sit well when you don't meet your goal. But uh, yeah, like I said, um, let me know what you're doing this weekend. I know that 307, Bought a wood miser. I didn't run it, but I was on the crew. Bucking and uh, bucking logs and guiding the back, or not the backhoe, the, uh, we had an excavator, a skid steer with forks, and then the wood miser. It was a hell of a weekend. Oh man, I had so much fun. I had so much fun. I don't know where all the pictures went. Um, but I have some pictures of that. There was all kinds of blowdown in my buddy's uh, woods. Big tornado came through and blew down every kind of hardwood you could think of. Um, we had a great time. Um, but uh, there's, there's more of it. It's starting to look like something now. So that'll get glued down and uh, with 23 gauge brads that are you can't hardly see them and then it'll get carpenter's glue on the back side trying to keep it out of the hole area so these are going to get touched a lot um, there's just no way around it and then these guys are basically the ocean um, you know i don't know whether i want to orient the grain running all the same way definitely on the top but it kind of looks neat with the grain running randomly I don't know let me know what you think yeah what do you like grain same or grain different um, anyway it's getting on to six o'clock I salad see I didn't get back here till like a quarter to three and I got in about an hour and a half this morning before everything blew up uh, we've been dealing with uh, materials and the landscaper and uh, we had a, it, that the landscaper uh, we had a meeting over the extent of landscaping that was going to be done and just uh, just time that needed to be spent responsibility that when you're the when you're the guy trying to coordinate it for your customers you've got to be there you know uh, if you've got a call coming in it a quarter to eight at night and you're sitting there all comfortable it's an important call you got to take it 
on job flow. But anyway, I'm gonna turn this thing off. Probably can hear me better. I tell you what though, that fan sure makes a difference. I only put my thermostat, I only put my AC on 80, so it's, if that fan's not going, it's pretty crazy in here. But uh, anyway, um, we'll be back in the morning. Um, like I said, Captain Caveman goes out tomorrow. Get to see um, one of my childhood friends. I haven't seen him in about a year. So that's good. They're gonna come up to the shop and we're gonna, we're gonna test out old Captain Caveman. I'm gonna show him some more axes. I think he's actually bringing me some axes down to half. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. He mentioned fiber, <coughs> fiberglass, which I'll try to talk him out of. But hey, if he wants fiberglass, I'll put fiberglass in. Um, got some other stuff out there on the horizon. Um, and uh, Axe is coming in all the time. Um, I can't wait to get, start making handles. That's, I'm really chomping at that. I'm really wanting to get making handles, but all in due time. Hopefully it's gonna cool down and we can get some power saws and some, uh, Crosscut saws, um, some axes, some froze, um, broad axes going. I'm really excited to get on that ash in my backyard and, and you know, we're gonna burn a stump out and um, use it as a forge for um, making the steel rings, um, not making them, but heating them up so that when they go on the mall heads, um, you know, it, I don't have to, you know, they'll shrink and then they'll be on the mall heads. So excited about that. Just got a lot of plans, you know? I mean, everybody's got plans and we all have oodles of projects, but the thing that's really cool is that we're all trying to, we're all coordinating and we're all checking in on each other and, you know, makes my day when I hear from one of y'all. Does, indeed. So, um, I think we're shutting her down. I gotta get my water. And I gotta go to the grocery store. And I didn't even finish my coffee this morning, but anyway, take care of yourselves. Um, just uh, be, you know, be yourself. Let's say, let's start there. Be yourself. Um, don't be something you're not. Um, but be kind doing it. <laughs> and I mean, it's been said before. Love wins. It does indeed. It does indeed. Um, stay safe. What else should you do? Uh, heck, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> but it would be nice if we were all kind, wouldn't it? It would be a good idea if we were kind and had a approach that was uh, kind and loving and we were all trying to be on the same team. I think that would be amazing if that would happen. Um, and anyway, I'm rambling again. I'm rambling like a freaking Harvey Shiklank and a Pinto coming down from International Falls. Yes, indeed, that's happening. It's happening. Um, but anyway, uh, I love you all. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Well, one last shot. That's the eight by eight. And it's not even spaced, but it looks pretty tight, doesn't it? It's gonna be one cool board game. Not your standard board game or something you'd get from Ikea. Homemade, that's the best. <laughs>